Hi Scorpio, so this is going to be your October reading for the beginning of October. Um, this will be for all Scorpios who are in separation or, you know, have difficult communications with somebody. Maybe you were ghosted. Um, just basically someone who's not talking to you or someone who's not communicating very well with you. Okay. This could be any type of soul connection. It could be a soulmate, a flame, a karmic soulmate. Karmic soulmate's the same as a soulmate. There's like, you know, easy soulmates. And then there's ones with karmic partners. But they're soulmates. They're all soulmates. Um, you know, just somewhere, it's just a difficult relating pattern that's happening right now. Okay. So this is going to be for all Scorpios. So we're going to start off with a card for them, a card for you, and a card for the situation. Okay. Now, in your energy, we have the music, magician. It's Aries Gemini energy. You know, this is about being able to manifest and create that which you want and the situation that you want. So you may be feeling... Um, or trying to create a situation here or a relationship um, or something, right? Maybe you're trying to get this person to come back to you. Whatever it is, you're actively trying to manifest this in some way or the other. Um, now, that's your energy, okay? In their energy, we do have the Nine of Swords reversed. This is somebody who's getting out of this period of being haunted by their thoughts. They're... they're this is somebody who feels kind of shitty about their thoughts. They, maybe they did something. Um, maybe you did something. I don't know. Either way, they were feeling pretty bad about it, though. It was keeping them up at night. Um, this is mental energy. But now they're getting out of this energy. Okay. Now, the current situation is the Three of Cups. This is the current mutual energy. And this is about... Um, this is about coming together. Enjoying the good times, the happy times. This could be a reunion between two people or three people I don't know but you know if you're actively trying to manifest this then this could very well be a reunion that could be happening here or just a return to these good happy times then we have the king of wands that's on both of your minds um this is somebody who's creative they're passionate they're energetic they're ready for a new new adventure really they're dependable um, they're kind of, they're very handsome. <laughs> uh, this is fire energy. So it could be Gemini, uh, not Gemini, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, right? Um, but this is somebody who's creative, you know, they could be in a, uh, like a creative field, um, or they're in business, but either way, this is someone who's very passionate and romantic, okay, that you're dealing with. Now, I'm going to clarify these cards real quick. I'll keep this here. So let's clarify the Nine of Swords. This is Leo again. Um, this is the Sun. So they may have not feel they may not have been able to see the whole picture. Like something was not illuminated. Not feeling super happy about a situation, um, which kind of ties into the fact that you know. This is reverse, so they're coming out of it though, so they will see the light. But this really is something when you know someone gets clarity that things are illuminated, they're feeling good, they're feeling joyful. When it's reversed, not so much, right? So they made me feeling pretty shitty. Um now, crossing that we have the magician. Yeah, this is about manifesting a new start in love. Maybe you're waiting, maybe you're hoping. That this will happen. But it's about creating a new start in love with this person. Alright. So. Let's get Romance Oracle to see. What the current situation is romantically. 
what's the permeating energy here? Past life relationship, you've known each other before. Yeah, so this could be a soulmate. This could be someone that you have a deep connection with and you have had a, you know, past life relationship with them. That's why this connection feels so deep. So what I'm going to do is see what their blocks are from them coming forward. Let's see. What are their fears here? What are some fears and blocks on the person that Scorpio is dealing with? Have signs so you know maybe you've seen signs or they're seeing signs that are kind of reminding them of you um it could be putting getting in their head right we have spring this could be something that started in the spring or ended in the spring or it could be reconnecting in the spring if it's already ended then we do have deception. So someone may have been very deceptive in this situation. And we have settling. Um, again, someone may have felt like they were settling here. Um, maybe you felt that you were settling. Maybe they felt they, they were settling. Whatever it was. And there's no communication now. Right? Um, they may have had some deceptive behaviors here. Because... They didn't want to tell you that they were settling or you didn't want to tell them that they were settling. So what I'm going to do is get some messages from them, how they feel about you, things that they're not telling you. You inspire me to work on myself. Okay, so that's over signs. So maybe they're seeing sign. Maybe they're seeing your name everywhere. Maybe they're seeing things like I said that remind me them of you, and you make them want to be a better person, right? So maybe they're working on themselves right now, and they're not coming forward to you because that's what they're doing. Then we have spring. I feel like you're too good for me. So. Either you may feel this way, and if you don't feel this way, then maybe they feel this way. But somebody is putting someone else on a pedestal here, and that's not a good thing. It's just, You need balance in a relationship, right? Someone feels like the other person is too good for them. Um, this, you know, maybe it's, it's on their end, so they probably feel like you are too good for them, and they don't necessarily deserve you. Okay, then we have deception. I'm too scared to come forward right now. So again, they're they're not able to come talk to you right now because there's fear there. And that is over deception. So maybe they did something. Maybe they did something that they're not proud of. It kept them up at night because they felt like you were too good for them, right? Then we have settling. Um, I wish I could tell you how I really feel about you. So maybe they, you know, they weren't open openly expressing their feelings. Um, you know, they may have held back in some way, which may have caused you to think that they didn't give a shit. They didn't care. But, you know, what we're seeing is that clearly they did care, right? They do feel a connection here. Um, but there's some fears there. They have insecurities. They're... It's almost like they're insecure here um, and feel like you're too good for them. So they may have resorted to behaviors that kind of... People who are insecure do insecure things. You know, they like to get validation 
anywhere else. So let's get some more blocks here. We have Inner Beauty. You inspire me to work on myself. So, you know, maybe they are noticing now that they need to find their own inner beauty, that they can't rely on the external anymore. Um, and that's probably something that they need to work on, on themselves. Maybe you have that inner beauty that they want to embody and they saw that in you and now they need to work on that on themselves. Okay. I feel like you're too good for me. And then we have Kundalini Awakening. So this is really about harnessing that sexual energy. Um, and someone who is, when you have this awakening, it's really, you know, you kind of go into like, go into a dark night of the soul. <laughs> Trust me on that one. But you can also, it, it kind of propels you to be a more spiritual person, right? Um, that's the whole point of this Kundalini awakening is to get back to your essence, like who you really are as a spiritual being. Um, and get back to God. Now, um, again, it's also about creation energy, sexual creation energy. Um, this is probably, if, if this is coming over high, I feel like you're too good for me. And they could see you as a little more spiritually advanced than them. Just not as, you know, materialistic maybe as they are. Um, someone who's awake and aware. And maybe someone who's embraced their sexuality and inner beauty already. And that intimidates them. I just wanted to come out. I'm too scared to come forward right now. We have third eye chakra. So that's about, you know, using your own gifts. Um, being able to see with, like, under, no, intuitively. Right? Um, and not react in fear. But third eye, you know, when you open your third eye and use your third eye chakra, it's really about intuition. Um, and just knowing, be having that cognizance, like clear cognizance, you know, if you want to call it that, but that intuition with your higher self and not react in fear. So if they're too scared to come forward right now, it's because their third eye is not open. They're not using their intuition with the situation. They may think that, you know, you don't even want to deal with them or they just, they're too blocked. You know, maybe they're just blocked spiritually. I wish I could tell you how I really feel. And then we have observing. So, yeah, they may be watching you, <laughs> wanting to tell you how they feel about you, but they're not. So they're watching you. They're just watching. Just stalking your social media. This one comes up in every reading. <laughs> There's a lot of stalkers out there. <laughs> What are they called? Zombies? When they like, or they haunt you, when they ghost you, and then they stalk your social media. Just stop looking. Let's go away. All right. So let's see how they feel about you sexually. I'm sorry, I have allergies. Oh my god, my allergies are so bad. All right. So let's see how they feel about you sexually. What are their romantic and sexual feelings towards Scorpio? The Hermit. So they may be, again, this is somebody who's in solitude. This is a man in solitude, right? Just sort of like pondering whether or not the woman that he cares for is with someone else. So maybe that's what he's doing while he's in solitude. So you inspire me to work on myself, inner beauty. You know, maybe this person is just kind of taking a break from you. Well, that's probably what the reading is for. But, you know, people in separation. But, you know, they may be taking a break from you so they can work on themselves. But at the same time, they are still wondering whether or not you're with someone else. That's definitely something that they're thinking about. Which is probably why they're observing you still. Okay, then we have the Seven of Wands. You know, there's here's two people embracing, right? Um, and it's about whispering. So doubts and suspicions dissolve in the sunlight. Clarity illuminates feelings and situations, right? So maybe there was a lack of clarity here. Um, again, it's I feel like you're too good for me. They may have wanted to express things to you. 
but they had doubts. Um, this is just one of those cards where, you know, you may have given them <coughs> some clarity on how you felt, but how they felt, they were still afraid to tell you, right? Then we have the Eight of Swords. Now, the Eight of Swords um, is about scratching green free sensuality and allows the body to guide the spirit before the mind can guide the body. You cannot teach the flesh if it is not willing to learn from you. Okay, so again, this is about using your intuition. Now, there may have been um, an issue when it came to their sexuality, right? Maybe you caused them to really go inward and think about their own, you know, when they were with you. Maybe you brought up some, stirred up some emotional stuff. Um, either way, it's about being spiritually aware and physically aware, right? Um the body, it allows the body to guide the spirit before the mind can guide the body. So you may have felt like this. They may have felt like a spiritual sexual connection with you and didn't know how to handle it. Right. And this may have kept them bound because we do have the devil or pan in the background. Right. It's like two people that are kind of bound. There may have just been a very intense sexual connection that they felt with you. Um, and it may have brought up some issues here. Then we have the stars. Um, this is usually Aquarius uh, in the regular deck, but this is really about a woman taking control and dominating the situation. They may have felt that you were kind of, um, may, you may have dominated them uh, and they don't know how to handle that. Doesn't mean it's a bad thing, but they just may not know how to handle that type of female in female presence, really. Um, so, get some more oracles. So, what are some more pieces of advice here we can get? These are the hardest cards I've ever had to shuffle. They're so slippery and so big. It's like. Nightmare to shuffle. Okay, so what, is, what else do we need to know? Forget who you are. Conditioning falls away. Memory no longer defines you. So, you know, maybe this relationship, maybe you were reliant on this relationship. Maybe they were. It's almost like, I feel like they were that kind of gave them some sort of like sense of, I don't know, identity, or maybe you did you may have gotten a sense of like identity from each other but you have to forget about that you know it's really about being who you are but forgetting that you're not the person that whoever you're dating that's not who you are the relationship is not who you are um forget who you are conditioning falls away memory no longer defines you so don't let the past hold you back and don't let your identity that you had and meshed up in that relationship define you either Final oracle. <sighs> Prosperity lies ahead, new moon in Taurus. So just keep focusing on yourself. Um well, this person sorts out what they need to sort out and prosperity does lie ahead, right? So it's only going to lead you to good things. And what you're doing here where you're manifesting this new, you know, this new start in love, keep doing that. Keep, but this is really about focusing on the self. It's not about pushing all that energy onto this relationship and the potential of it. It's about focusing on you, right? And prosperity will lie ahead. Um, so, 
that is your reading. Oh, you know what? Let me get one more word of advice. One last card of advice here. I almost forgot. Yeah. If this was a burden for you, it's time to put down the wands. Okay. It's time to put down this burden um, for them and for you. If this is a situation where, um, you know, both parties have felt like this was kind of holding them back or whatever it is, the burdens need to be put down. Just let it go. Let it fucking go. Put down the wands. So that is your reading, Scorpio. I hope it resonated with you. Um, feel free to like, share, and subscribe if it did. And if not, make sure you check your rising and your moon sign um, and your Venus sign because those will probably resonate with you as well. So if this one does not, but who knows? I have no fun clue. Anyway, have a great rest of the night.